Namaste, welcome to Sasrekha's Kitchen.com. Today I am making cauliflower green peas curry. This is also called gobi matter. Today I am making it in a very simple way. I took half of a cauliflower, cut into small florets and washed it thoroughly. And I have half a cup of green peas. I took the dry green peas, soaked them in water for 4 hours and then cooked in the pressure cooker. But if you take the frozen green peas, you don't have to cook them. You can just use them directly. And for spices, I have taken 1 fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder, about 1 teaspoon of red chilli powder. If you like the curry more spicy, you can add little bit more red chilli powder. Salt for your taste. You can add more salt later if you need it. About 1 teaspoon of coriander and cumin powder. Take all these spices into a bowl and mix with water. Keep this aside. Now here I have my skillet on medium heat with 1 tablespoon of coconut oil. When the oil is hot, add 1 teaspoon of chana dal, 1 teaspoon of urad dal, half a teaspoon of mustard seeds and half a teaspoon of cumin seeds. Fry them. Now the dals are fried and the mustard seeds are popping up. Now it is time to add the spices. Bring down the temperature to low flame. Now add all the spices that are mixed with water. If you don't lower the temperature, all these spices will burn immediately. So it is very important to bring down the temperature to low flame before adding the spices. Fry them for about 30 seconds. Now go ahead and add the green peas and cauliflower. After adding the green peas and cauliflower, you can bring up the temperature to medium flame again. Stir them well to mix with the spices. Put a lid and cook them for about 4 to 5 minutes on medium flame. After 4 or 5 minutes, check the curry once and give it a stir. If it is too dry, you can add a little bit of water. Cover it and continue cooking until the cauliflower is completely cooked. Check the curry again and if it is cooked, then you can add half a teaspoon of garam masala powder. This is optional. If you don't like the garam masala powder, you can skip it. But I am adding half a teaspoon of garam masala powder and then add the finely chopped cilantro or coriander leaves. Mix it well and saute for about 30 seconds. Now the cauliflower and green peas curry which is also called gobi mutter is ready in a very simple way. Try this easy recipe and give me your feedback. This is a great combination with rice, chapati or pulka. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like the recipe give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and like my facebook page. You can check out many more recipes on my website at sesrekaskitchen.com.